today's video, I'm going to be building a coffee shop in Blocksburg. So if you watch all my videos, you know that I have a massive, massive city. This was actually the first ever building that I ever built in Blocksburg, except most of the buildings are empty inside. So I thought I would start a new series on my channel where I'd renovate all the buildings. And today we're starting with a coffee shop. And by the end of this series, I hope to complete the whole city and then invite all my subscribers to come to the opening. Okay, so the building we're going to be working on today is this awful, dreadful building. It's not even, the outside's not even complete. And like the inside is just just like this tiny little box. So what I'm thinking is that this would be perfect for a little coffee shop. Okay guys, you know what I'm thinking of calling this um coffee shop? Alaska box. You know what? I'm gonna call it Alaska box. Okay, so first we need the roof because as you can see, we have no roof right now. Okay, so there's already a door, but I'm not gonna keep that door because it's ugly and I might just use a double door instead. Because there's no windows on the outside, there has to be lots of windows on this entryway. Okay, so maybe like two windows on the outside. Wait, that's kind of cute. Should I put them on the inside? as well. Oh, I don't know if that's like too many windows though. You know what? It's fine. We're going to put windows literally everywhere. Okay. We need like a little, <gasps> wait, that's kind of cute. And then we can have our logo like on top. I haven't used this roof before, so it's definitely new. And then maybe that roof like that. And then we're going to put the logo on the roof here. I'm pretty sure they have round paintings, or, like round decals. Okay. There we go. We can have our logo up there. Okay. Now we just have to paint it. So maybe these stripes and then we can do like brown. I don't know. What's like a nice color. Okay. You know what? I'm going to stick to green because I don't want it to be like too dark in here. And then for the walls, they can be white. Okay, I feel like this wall's a bit too flat, so I might have like pillars like kind of coming out like here. We also need like a little grass fence here. Okay, see these hanging lights? How do I make these look good? Maybe like above like that. It's such a cute little coffee shop. Working at the coffee shop. And I feel like we just need some wall trims as well. Give it a little bit of depth, love. Okay, let's have a look at this so far. I don't even have to change the floor because it kind of goes with the theme. And I feel like we need like two outdoor seating areas here. Okay, we can either have two like outdoor seating areas like here and here. Or instead, I feel like these armchairs are actually more fancy. Goodbye, old boring outdoor seating areas. Loser. Because this is Alaska Bucks, aka my coffee shop, you best believe I'm going to make my own coffee table. And we all know what, if you watch my videos, you all know what coffee table I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. Cute little outdoor area. Obviously, it's a coffee place, so we'll put some like coffee mugs. Wait, I might add it over here instead. Okay, I know I called the outdoor seating table and chairs losers, but I think I'm gonna add them back and put them over here. You know what? That person can have a green mug and this one can have a white mug. Okay, I might change that roof again um, because I don't want it to be too green. I think my only problem is that these windows are a little bit too big for my liking. So maybe if I make them just like a little bit more smaller. Okay, beautiful. She's beauty. She's grace. She is Miss United States. We also just need like a little painting stand. Like, hi, welcome to Alaska Bucks Coffee. $557 for one coffee because the coffee is made out of gold. Okay, that painting stand color looks like diarrhea, so I'm changing it. Okay, guys, you're gonna kill me, but I changed the color again. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so indecisive. And guess what? I'll probably change it again. So let's just finally work on the inside. I feel like concrete is a good wall texture when you don't know what to do. As you can see, it is very, very small in here. But we also have this little section here. So I'm thinking maybe add like the kitchen. Okay, but before I forget, wall trims. Because we don't want this coffee shop looking boring and flat and ugly. I only recently started using wall trims and now I'm obsessed with them. Could you imagine having these wall trims in your house? Okay, why are all these crown moldings huge? Like, that is massive. I don't need it that big. Okay, and to make it, like, fancy, fancy, I'm gonna add these neon lights. Because, honey, this is gonna be the most fancy coffee shop in all of Texas. I meant in all of Bloxburg, but it came out Texas, and you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, moment of truth. <gasps> Wait, that looks so good. I don't know who made the roof marble, though. I don't hate it. Okay, so I'm going to work on the seating before I work in the kitchen. So obviously there's going to be two seats here. I'm not sure whether to make them like booths. To make like a booth that fits in like two blocks, I'm going to have to custom make it. So I'm going to add these simple ottomans, curved cubes, and then just like resize them down. Okay, hopefully this custom booth works because I'll only know if it works once it's complete. <laughs> so, okay, so we got our cute little booth area. Now just to add some like head support. Okay, there we go. We have our little booth. That actually looks adorable. And now we just have to paint it. So maybe like this twisted wood. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side on this side. Okay, second booth is done. Okay, now for the table. I'm just gonna use these end tables. Oh, we need pillows before I forget. You know what? We'll just have a blanket just to make people feel comfy. This is looking more like a house than a coffee shop so far, but it's fine. I don't want it to be like typical coffee shop vibe. 
I want it to feel very homey. But I do want like some chandeliers hanging over the booth. So I feel like these geometric chandeliers look pretty cute. And we'll just put some like designer magazines on the table. Okay, I feel like that section's done. And I think we can fit like three or four more seats here. And I'm just gonna use these outdoor seats because I actually like the way they look. Okay, we'll have like a connecting table because you know how people like some shops have like four seats on them? Okay, it's bothering me how it's not centering. Why is it not? This is really frustrating me. <gasps> oh, okay, good. It worked. Let's change the color to like a more darker wood so it's not like same color as the floor. Okay, actually, I like the table. I think I just might change the chairs because they're looking a little bit tacky. A more like indoor appropriate seat. I feel like these industrial chairs are pretty cute. Also, I'm gonna stick to like a black and gold theme. Look how fancy that looks. Okay, now for the front counter. It needs to fit a door that goes into the kitchen and I might make this back wall a feature wall instead of sticking to like all concrete. And for the counters, I usually use basic counters but instead I'm gonna use something different. So I think I'm gonna try like these modern island benches. Also, I'm gonna make these like black pillars above the island bench. Then I can put these string lights underneath. Ooh, okay, it looks pretty cool. We also need a little sign here that says like order here And then this painting stand can include like the menu. Okay, we can put the microwave here because it actually fits perfectly Okay, there are all the cup shelves and I might add like another bench here where I can put the coffee machine because um This is a coffee shop and I don't even have a coffee machine instead of this boring coffee machine I'm gonna purchase this actual espresso machine and then put it like right in the corner. Oh my god, and then maybe up here where I can put like all the coffee flavors. Yeah, I'm gonna use these round jars and like resize them. There we go, that actually kind of looks like coffee. Wow, this is actually looking so cute. And now I think we need like a little display case up here. And luckily for me, I already have one in my other kitchen. So I'm just gonna go grab that and put it here. I know it's not coffee, but like I feel like every coffee shop has food like that. Okay, and then finally, I feel like we need some bags, so I'm just going to make my own custom bags. So how you do this is you grab these plain gift bags, and then you grab these square photo frames, and you kind of put them in front of the bag like that, and then you resize it, so it's kind of the same size as the bag, like that. And then you can put your little coffee logo. I'm going to put my little Alaska Bucks coffee logo right there. We might add like a rug in the middle here, and then a few more lights just to like lighten up the place, and then we'll work on the kitchen. I might just add this industrial shape chandelier at the door. Okay, I changed the rest of the coffee shop to like this dark slate color because I feel like the white was just too bright. And then I'll just add some paintings around the place. Okay, there we go. I feel like the coffee shop's all done. Now we just have to work on the kitchen. And as you can see, it's pretty small. And yes, don't worry, I'm adding a sink and a dishwasher before you all start yelling at me. <laughs> And then we'll just put like some dirty dishes here to make it more realistic. Okay, I feel like that's all the kitchen done. Um, I'm probably forgetting something as I usually do. But you know what? That's that's me. You know what? Now that I think of it, this is like the first time that I've built a coffee shop in Bloxburg. So this is what the outside end up turning out. I had a lot of struggle trying to figure out a good color palette to work with. But I feel like white, beige and green is what I was kind of going for for the outside. So we have two seating options. I like to think someone just comes here to like study outside of the coffee shop. Like an author, you know? She comes to her little Alaska Bucks coffee down the road and she and she studies outside because she's amazing like that. And then I like to think um, an old man or an old woman likes to come out here and enjoy her cappuccino while watching the sunset. I don't know. And I forgot to mention my friend actually made me a custom made decal which says Alaska Bucks Coffee which is just so cool. So that's the name of this coffee shop, Alaska Bucks. So thank you Tabs. She's like a professional photoshopper. She's amazing. We love her. Also if you want to use this Alaska Bucks Coffee decal the code will be in my description. So feel free to add it in your next build. Good days start with coffee and you. Okay coming inside. So for the inside I kind of stuck to like a black and gold theme. So I I wanted it to be obviously a little different than the outside. I didn't want it to be all the same, but honestly, I absolutely adore the way this turned out. And let's see if these cushions work. Oh my gosh, they do! Wait, that's perfect. Wait, and does this one work? I need to see if they all work. Oh, that is cute. When your friends come here and sit on the booth and just like drink your iced coffees and just like talk about your day. And of course, we have just some like designer books and um, my massive Alaska Bucks coffee sign. And I also found these coffee decals and I kind of just like added them around the place. And I really love the way these black and gold seating areas turned out. It's definitely a color combo that I'm going to start using more often. I just added some like cups and a little bit of greenery here and there. And then we have the front counter, which honestly I think is my favorite bit of this 
this entire coffee shop. So we have the Bon Appetit coffee menu. We have our hot drinks, our desserts, and our cold drinks. I think under here is like a different menu as well. And honestly, I, look how cute these bags turned out. So we have custom made Alaska Bucks coffee bags. So if you're ordering like a cookie and a muffin, you can just put them in your Alaska Bucks coffee bag and then you can walk out. It's amazing. And then coming back here, so we just have a bunch of coffee mugs. We like to have a lot of variety here and obviously a lot of coffee. I am obsessed with this coffee machine. I cannot believe that this is the first time I bought a coffee machine. I shall be using it all the time now. Like, can you imagine working in this coffee shop? I would genuinely love it. Like, it looks so aesthetic. And then back here is just the kitchen. It's kind of basic, but like we have some coffee options, some dirty dishes, a sink, oven, and a dishwasher. And guys, don't worry, I added a fridge this time. If you know, you know. But yeah, that is the entire coffee shop all complete. I genuinely love the way this turned out. I cannot wait to finish this series and invite all my subscribers to come visit. So if you want a chance to come visit the city, make sure you hit subscribe. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!